Chapman with Sun 102 with Lois Fever. Also with Sun 102, and we are excited actually for this wonderful day. We're gonna be doing a little bit of self-defense training here with Trenda Jocelyn. So, do you wanna tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be doing today? Um, sure, we're just gonna go over a couple of simple techniques that'll allow you to get out of uh, the grip of somebody if they grab onto you, or, um, and basically just through a couple of basic punches. Um, and yeah, just kind of show you how not to hurt yourself in a situation. So yeah, it's good not to hurt ourselves. Are we going to be like learning how to maybe break some bones or anything? And like, like um, kick butt and take names. If you that? maybe come to the self-defense seminar. <laughs> so okay. I think the first thing that we'll do is we'll just talk about the basic of uh, just a fist. Um, lots of people just go out and just punch, but oftentimes they don't realize that having a proper fist is one of the best things that you can do. So you just want to have your thumb, your fingers rolled down, and you always want to have your thumbs tucked under. Lots of people <laughs> have their thumbs popped up like this, and so what's oh, going to happen is oh. you're going to contact the person first, or and then punch like this, and then you're going to break your thumb. thumb. Yeah. So you always want to have your, break a nail. your thumbs tucked in. Really, you're worried about breaking a nail? Okay. <laughs> when you've got beautiful nails, do you? Um, the other thing you want to remember when you punch something is that you want to make sure that you have a very strong wrist because if you under or o under or over, you're going to strain your wrist a little bit, and that doesn't feel good either. So, <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, I am. Ah! It and wasn't then... even that hard. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Keep going. <laughs> Dang, well, this is getting really. Holy <laughs> cow! Lois, do you have anything you want to say to Victoria? <laughs> Just, you know, some uh, pent-up aggression. Okay. Ooh. So one of the things that's actually really recommended is to use the palm of your hand. So a palm of the hand to the nose, nose or under the chin, those can be very effective as well. So, um, and what you want to do Don't when you're- break anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, how can I do that with, onto this thing though? Yeah. Yeah? It works, yeah. yeah okay. So what you want to- <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I'm just- what you want to what you want to take into consideration that your fingers aren't forward, otherwise they're going to hit. Okay. So you want to really focus on the fingers being back and the palm going in. So what this is going to allow you to do is to effectively disarm or distract or make somebody stop and go whoa yep. um, without you breaking your hand. It's like an aggressive high five. <laughs> Very aggressive. <laughs> Sorry. Just try to go okay, but like, downwards. Like, I'm so yeah. smack. <laughs> and then when you're holding this, make sure that you're pushing on the back so it doesn't fly back towards your face. That okay. would be unfortunate. So just kind of going to here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the other thing that you want to remember too is there, that we can add into this is instead of just using your arm, you can actually use, use your whole body. For more force. <laughs> yeah. So do you see your <laughs> I got hold my leg back. For more force. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of times, what we do in self-defense is a little bit counterintuitive to, so meaning we do the opposite of what a person might expect. So an attacker, if you grab onto me, they're going to expect me to, to do this, that. right? Yeah. They're not going to expect me to move. Yeah. 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 Okay. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to end on my back no, by the end not. of this. You know, like in the movies where like the person just like throws you over their shoulder and you're like on the ground. Yeah. That is my fear right now. <laughs> if you grab on, it's just here. And maybe it's an elbow, or maybe it's a kick, or <laughs> I saw my light flash before my eyes. <laughs> she was yeah. right there, and I was gonna die. <laughs> Which person are you comfortable with? I, well, this is my strong. Okay. This is my right this hand. Is, so. This is a, something that we do talk about in self defense too, though, right? So right. we'll That's often be in cool. class, and somebody will, well, which side's better for you? <laughs> yeah, and then the like, is gonna be like, like, excuse me, ma'am, I'd like to. Could you take please grab me with this hand? I don't mean to be rude, but uh, I'd like to abduct you. Yeah, so basically, the first step is always to flip your hand over because that's gonna expose and put the hand in the uncomfortable. And all you have to do is move forward. Move forward and go up. <laughs> I have to let go. And, and so then the second step and everything is then basically once we've moved forward. The elbow, because yeah, that elbow. was at my eye level. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I could kick Lois's face if I wanted to, but that would I probably not enough. be. This is derailing very yeah. quickly. Yeah. So another common thing people do is they walk up and grab people like this, right? Like, give me your milk money. Is that a thing anymore? I don't know. Lunch money, whatever. Um, so if you grab onto me. Okay. So I can grab you by the Yeah. So there's a great number of things you can do. You can come up this way and push out okay. if the person isn't stronger than you, but there's a lot of simpler things you can do. It's just even pushing <laughs> <to> the throat. <laughs> 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 
Feeling. All of a sudden, I'm realizing I may need a mint. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. The other thing you can do is that palm heel that we talked about, right? and yeah, like yeah. totally <laughs> later. Yeah. Oh, and you're knocking their head back. Mm -hmm. Did you actually break somebody's nose if you're going up far yes. enough? Oh, you could. And that's maybe one of the things when we talk about when we talked about earlier about warranting and yeah a situation yeah, warranting yeah. self defense, right? So if somebody's come in and. They're just being aggressive and angry yeah. and not really being physical. Me walking up to them and doing this is... It doesn't work anymore. No, and, and yeah, you'll be in trouble, right? That's called assault. <laughs> um, but little. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody grabs onto you and if you're perceiving the situation as dangerous, then you need to, you need to evaluate for yourself what is the appropriate action to take. So is there anything else that you guys want to know or? Well actually if you could just tell us and everything when the seminars are happening with time. Sure. Yeah, um, the seminar is going to be happening on September 25th at 7.30 here at Encompass do Fitness Studio. Um, I'm not sure the address, maybe you could add that to the You can look it up. posting or something. Um, look it up. Yeah, and it'll be for an hour and a half. Uh, if you would like to attend, go on their Facebook page and there's an event on there and you can just get going. So how do we like thank you for your time in ta Taekwondo? Use self-defense wisely and only when needed. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much for this. Yeah, no problem. Yes, thank you. So you're saying I don't have to worry about getting punched in the neck once I get back to the office? <laughs> as long as you don't attack them, I'm, good. you should be good. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the end of the video right there. <laughs>